on the mats and we do have some seriously good climbers as Michael already mentioned out there and they're now being introduced onto the mat as we speak by Lucio Rakovic is first out for the women Lucio Rakovic from Slovenia out in that very strong Slovenian lineup that we just dedicated a bit of time to at the start there Izia Martinez, 18 years old from Spain, youngest competitor in this final. First in the overall IFSC European Youth Championships, Helsinki 2023. So she's really pushing towards the senior round now. Had a great semi final round. Qualifying in fourth, Ayala Karem, no stranger to the Studio Block Masters, 22 years old. Interestingly, three climbers all at 22. Had that great 10th. 10th position at the Boulder World Championships in Bern 2023, Ayala. Someone who's going really well this year from Genova, Italy, Camilla Moroni. Second at the Doc Masters just a few weeks ago. Four-time Italian champion, bags of experience. And second at the Boulder World Championships 2021. Into the top two and two really big names in the game. As you can hear it there, Jesse Pills from Austria, 27, oldest competitor in this female final. When we do the commentary for these events, we tend to gather some notes, gather some stats. Jesse Pills' medal table so large, we've just written down <laughs> stacks of medals. Bucket loads of Bucket gold. Bucket loads of gold medals. 2018 League World Champion being one of the biggest trophies of them all for Jesse Pills. Winner of the qualifying round, winner of the semi-final round, winner of nine IFSE gold bouldering medals, Natalia Grossman. Just 22 years old, along with Camilla and Ayala. Super strong in the post-match interview in the semi-final. So she's really pleased to be here for her first ever time here at the Studio Blockmasters. Says she's here for a bit of a chilled comp. <laughs> yeah, just a <laughs> one person's chilled is somebody else is very stressed. Yeah, yeah. For some climbers, it's just a walk in the park, and for mm. others, it's uh, yeah, it's a boxing match. Really, really interesting mindset there. Into the men's category, one of the big surprises from Germany coming out in the well, coming out first in the finals, but qualified in sixth place. Elias Aragada Kruger, 23, 23 years old from Berlin. Really looking to break into the big scene here on the IFSC. Guillermo Pinado, 18-year-old from Madrid, just to his right. Super strong youth career so far. 33-year-old Mikel Mauem, Boulder world champion. It's going to be out on the mats tonight. He qualified in fourth for this final. Had to really battle on the second, third and fourth boulders. He really pumped up for this one and always puts on a good show. A fairly new name to some of us, Arthur Lebris, 21-year-old, first at the IFSC European Cup in the youth category from France. Really cool to see the French team coming back with a vengeance here this season so far. Philip Schenk from Italy out next. Many excellent results for him. Great combined climber. Seventh in the European qualifying combined event for the Olympics in Laval 2023. He'll be hunting down those OQS, the Olympic qualifying series positions, trying to get himself at the Paris 2024 Games. But taking the top spot from the semi final round, round Zan Sudar from Slovenia. 26 years old, really strong in the semi-final round. The only climber to get three tops in the men's category. Luchka Rakovec is going to get this underway for us. Super experienced Slovenian athlete. Going to go on the mats at the same time as somebody who's not so much experienced, but very exciting, Ilias Aragada Kruger. 
So, so psyched to make the finals. It was ridiculous. Yeah, what a moment for this German athlete to be able to climb in front of a home crowd at such a big event. He will be absolutely buzzing. He had a great smile on his face when he walked out onto that mat. So here we go. Ilya straight into this boulder, number one, locating the zone. He's absolutely flying off the start line here. Mm. There's a sort of dishy slope that he's just jumped for then, almost a little bit too psyched. Slightly different style for Luchka. So easy to slip on these dual texture volumes. Yeah, I can imagine that that handhold is pretty poor actually because I remember looking at the foothold. The foothold on the right hand side is quite a, quite a good jib actually. But um only reinforces how bad the handhold's probably going to be. A lot of setters will go down this line where they'll have bad hands, good feet, good feet, bad hands. Bad hands, oh, bad feet. Oh bad hands, bad feet. Whoa. <laughs> that's that's the boulder on the right hand side on the slab always. Bad hands, bad feet. But it's because it's such a slabby slab at the end of the day. Well, both climbers have had their first attempt on these. Let's go back in. A lot of the competition we'll hear at Studio Blockmasters has a really steep start to it. The sort of whole meat of the middle section of this wall super overhanging so you find a lot of these boulders they tend to sort of be powerful out the roof and then journey off to the side there we go at that time so close sort of have to be quite specific root setters were saying it's a kind of low percentage catch to that sloping hold it's like a sloping dish just hidden around the back of that screw on volume yeah, it was very close to holding that. Maybe the right foot needed to be a little bit further right. Hard to tell. Quite hard to see whether he really did get the sweet spot of the volume. He's got plenty of time on the clock, though. He, time to take a little rest. Yeah, it looked like he's, he's come out here in front of the crowd absolutely pumped, but just, just need to dial it back a little bit. Plenty of time. Opportunity just to get some liquid chalk on the hands. Get himself a nice chalky hand coverage. Alcohol cools the hand down as well. Here he goes. Third attempt. Oh, yes. Great moment. Once you hit that hold, it's pretty much all over. Elias Aragada Kruger, 23 from Berlin. What a start. As Lutzka starts to struggle on this upper section. Really deep press up and over the lip. Quite a big move that, really do need to get up on that right leg. Straighten, straighten the leg out a bit more and two more inches and should have been in that next dish. She walks towards isolation with one zone. First go. Amazing rotation coming up next. Two Spanish athletes side by side. Guillermo Pinada, just 18 years old from Madrid. And Isio Martinez there right in front of the screen. Also just 18. Both with great IFSC European youth results. 
Izzy are actually taking away the first of the overall European Youth Champs in Helsinki last year. To say, Ilias's attempts on this first boulder, well, and the ventral top did make it look pretty durable. Rousset is really looking for that left hand to switch to a palm down so that you can get the distance to push into that next slope in volume. Pressing, pressing, pressing with the left hand there. This is nice. This is looking very good. About to go for the match. Remember, it's not a jog, apparently. Oh, that's definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think she was probably expecting herself that last hole to be a little bit better than that quite casually up to there though we have thought not feeling very stressed with two minutes 40 seconds on the clock plenty of time there for Izzy getting slightly spanned out on that sort of smash move with the right hand Expecting the right foot to land, but with a little bit more control, seems to be losing the left hand as he jumps. Quite a lot of these holds in the final are actually new shapes. The climbers have not seen them before or climbed on them before. I think that's really cool and it's really important. That's why people come to events like this pre-season, pre-World Cup season, that's what we say, mm. pre-season. Also, also with them being white as well, the white holes in the final, you don't get to read the shape that well. It's not like you've seen a black hold with, uh, with white chalk on it, showing you the sweet spot. These are a little bit harder to read in this color. You can see there is texture. But you don't really see how good it is. That's much better this time. It's strong and stable onto that second to last hold. Oh, interesting. Trying to just dial into the screw hole. She just needs to touch two hands in control and the last hole can be anywhere on that volume. Quite deep screw holes on these volumes up there. We've seen a few people using them throughout the semi-final. Just trying to essentially just reach it. Oh, sorted in the end. Fumbled around with it for ages just to try and stabilise. Eventually just pushed into the sloping top dish you look for a minute or two that she was just a tiny bit short on that boulder but actually it was absolutely bang on for her size good top there by Izia. now all eyes on Guillermo in for another go he's still not got the zone on this boulder Twenty-eight seconds on the clock. Just enough time for one last go. At least try and secure a zone here at the moment. Nothing on the scoreboard for Guillermo at the moment. Pretty much instant replay of every attempt there. Bad start for Guillermo. Back into isolation, try and collect his thoughts. Forget about that boulder and move on. It was a real battle at the top here in the end, just trying everything to make that top move work. Like quite heavy taping on the middle finger of the left hand there as well. See how that plays out throughout this round. Mikhail Mauen from France, Boulder World Champion right now, and Ayala Karem on the mats next. Both guys absolutely storming it in the semis. Certainly a big name on the mats is Michael Mauen, absolute legend. 
And such a cool climber to watch. He's always got a try hard face on him. Solid through that move to the zone. Now um, opting for the heel there rather than the toe that we saw from Elias. Really super sloping. Trying to work out a sweet spot on that volume. I don't think there is one. There is friction and texture. But there's no real sweet spot. Oh, look at the techers there. This. The knee breaker. Probably going to spend a little time now looking at that boulder, trying to see if he's got some takeaways from that attempt. What can he do different? Mentioned that Mikhail Mayer was the Boulder World Champion, uh, the Karem, 10th at the World Championship, same World Championships in Bern to 2023. Not really going well at the moment. As, as you can see on the scoreboard there, she has had two attempts. You can see those. Let's see now. Third attempt. Nice move, shoulder to shoulder. Cross into that toe hook to be able to ride up that sloper and then into the dish. That toe hook is actually quite interesting. Izzy um, wasn't using that at all. Trying to push from low and left. Oh, great stability in the shoulders. Powerful push across those volumes. Oh, really tidy work. Alakaran. Absolutely perfect. Good start for Ayala. He's got plenty of time back in isolation now to rest up. All eyes on Michael. That's it, we're into the final minute now. Must have a good Good concept of what he wants to do on this boulder now. Sort Letting of. the clock run down, pretty chilled. Go big or go home territory here for Mikhail Mawem. Looks like he's... Uh, for a second there, I thought he was going to go for the rock over on the toes rather than the heel. As we saw with Elias. Not finding anything past that slope at the moment. Disappointing start for Mikhail Mowen. Couldn't quite make it work with that heel. Must be quite tricky coming out as a world champion at a non-World Cup event. Lots of people expecting you to either win or do really well. Obviously, it is a start of a new season as well. We don't quite know where people are in their training cycles when they come to these events. It's, it's, it's becoming more and more interesting in that it's much harder to be that person out at the front nowadays. There's so much depth and quality of climbers competing on the international circuit. And every year you seem to get like a new youngster who comes in and really mixes it up. And just for the seasoned competitors to keep pushing and improving as they as they reach the you know the latter years of their competition career it's a really big ask it's a lot of effort next rotation then Arthur Lebris 21 years old has got that first European Cup medal to his name alongside Camilla Moroni who's been going so well recently Second at the Doc Masters event 
another sort of Studio Block S competition just recently. We're seeing that a couple of times now. If it's getting pinned on the left hand side, got to drop down low and right, push the hips across, start standing up into that next sloper. We saw Luch Karakovic ride over that foot and actually using the underside of those volumes. To yeah, pull you, you across. Can, I think you can see where the chalk has been. And that, where she just pointed to, I reckon. I think so, yeah. <laughs> she's just like, oh, mm, yeah, okay, I've missed that hold. And so this is maybe see her next time going low into that side pull and then standing straight back up to the next hold. Also, the first to pull back on. Arthur Labrie from France. Steady away through to that zone. Looks like the slightly taller climbers are in, enjoying that move to the zone. A little bit easier if you can hit the foot plant without too much rotation. This is where we saw Mikhail Mauer and Arthur trying to find something, opting to go off that right toe. Yeah, he was choosing the toe rather than on the heel. We he saw earlier on from Michael. There's that sort of potential use of the undercut volume. Just clutching the knee there. Moroni as she dropped down. Pretty intense. Rock over on the right toe. A lot of force going through the right knee. Arthur Labrie just taking his time, chilling on the mats, always a sign of composure. Not feeling too stressed at the moment, 21 years old. Interesting to see new names coming through to these sort of pre-season events. A lot of the big hitters here this weekend, but a lot of the big names missing out, even on the semi-finals as well. So for some of the young guns to come through, it's really exciting. Quick brush for Arthur. One minute left on the clock. Both athletes stepping up to the wall. Probably the final attempt of their first boulder. The Studio Block Final 2024. After jumping off a right heel hook that time, seems to work for him. Ah, Camilla Moroni really struggling in that position. Awkward little slip there. Here we are. Arthur is still on the boulder. Getting into the screw hole. That's a nice stand up. It's going to be a real risk move. Oh, sticks it with just 12 seconds to go. Arthur Labrie, can he finish this one off? Oh, yes. Casual at the top. Casual with a pair of screw holes in his hand. <laughs> yeah, opting to using the top side of that volume. Looks like when you stick that dish for the right hand, it boulders pretty much all over. Two rotations still to come on this first of four boulders. There's that catch. Once you hit that right hand, it is pretty much all over. He's standing up on a really good positive foothold. No issues at the top at all. Absolute legend walking out onto the mats or running out onto the mats. Jessica Piltz, Austria, 27 years old. Still performing extremely well on the international circuit. Philip Schenk, another Italian as well. Philip, just 24 years old. So close to making finals, well, with seventh position at the European Qualifier Combined Event Laval 2023. Really on form at the end of last year. Very casual on those initial sloping zone hold as well. 
Jesse Peel's one of just a few Austrians here at this event. Quickly opting for that right hand undercut on the volume just to help transition the weight onto the left hand a little bit. Oh, absolutely easy <laughs> for Jesse Pills. That was cruise mode up that boulder. Really, really nice to see. Working that left toe hook. Must absolutely be really absolutely no stress going on there. Camilla Moroni's literally just got back behind that curtain herself and the next climber out has already gone out, done the boulder, come back, and that must start playing some mind games for Moroni back in the isolation area. Yeah, it definitely is an art to be in isolation and to not be affected by what's happening out there. You've got to really focus on your own game. Some people just aren't affected by it. Some people have got headphones in. Lots of different ways. Everyone's different. Ooh, real nice method there from Philip Schenk. Going for the quick one-two foot plant. We're seeing that so much more with the younger athletes. So good at sort of moving fast across walls, sometimes getting around really, really hard moves by moving dynamically. Sometimes really skating with their feet across a section of volumes. Much more at home than the sort of previous generations of climbers moving fast. Philippe. Back on the boulder. Essentially static into that zone hold as well, not jumping up and rotating the feet. This time. Yes. Wow, that was amazing. How slow that whole movement was then. Really nice. Great show from Philip Schenk. Had a couple of attempts, and that third go was just, it was just so slow, it was amazing. Yeah, he really knew exactly what he wanted to do and just focused on the execution. Timing was perfect. Great demonstration. Jesse Pills warming up, seemingly. No hesitation on the finish hole as well. We saw from previous athletes, super strong on the stand-up move. Let's put the pressure on the next rotation. Natalia Grossman and Zan Sudar. Natalia here for a chill weekend. A little bit of training before the big stuff starts this season. Absolutely crushing this weekend so far. If anyone were to put bets on this sport, Natalia Grossman, you'd definitely have her down for the win here today. So there is a lot of pressure on her shoulders to perform every opportunity she pulls onto the mats. And Zan Sudar, obviously being in the Slovenian team, as we heard from Andrzej earlier, and Katia Depovec, that it's just always pressure on the Slovenians to perform because the next best athlete is just around the corner. Natalia Grossman just looking quite casual on the foot, but just trying to find something as Zan Sudar looks like he's on for the flash. Easy for both athletes. Simultaneous tops. Thank you very much, people. Let's move on to the next boulder. Yeah, fantastic demonstration of perfection there from both athletes, Natalie and Zan. Super execution, super confident. Loads of time to, for them to relax. Obviously, they've had that two minutes observation else on the wall, pinged across to it. Maybe a slice of luck to catch it perfectly. First climbers on the second boulders then. Luch Karakovic. Ilya Saragana Kruger from after a ridiculously good start on the first boulder. Luchka straight on, followed by Elias. Quick run and mantle onto the slab and Swinger dingaling <laughs> for the uh, not sure if that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Swinger dingaling across to the, the bell shaped hold on the left hand side. Luchka's first attempt wasn't too successful. Very different style from the swing and jump of the women's to the men's, very static, pure footwork boulder. 
after the hard mantle press start. She's actually making look quite straightforward, but it's this next section of trying to transition across these volumes. Ooh, look at how bad that is, and then just sliding down to that next toe hook. Oh, great leg power there from Elias. This guy's really looking the money tonight. And here we go, guys. You mentioned it, whether they would try this out, the go slow method. One thing the root setters are always dreading. They did faff about with that volume quite a lot right before the start to try and stop the athletes going statically across the wall. We heard from the root setters on the mats with Nikki just before. Very nervous that this might be a thing. Crimp in the footholds currently here. Luch Karakovic. Root setters be a bit disappointed. There's no hiding from that. As in the background, Elias is up. Ooh, and he's down again. I mean, even the first move on this looks pretty brutal, doesn't it? Slopey palm down. Very powerful position and then straight into some terrible smears and some hard footwork to get across the left. What's going to be interesting now on the women's boulder, Luchko obviously would have put chalk over there on the left on those footholds. Athletes do tend to follow the chalk a little bit as well. Let's see if you're going to try something different. I'll stick with that method. There's a loads of different screw-ons on that volume down there. None of them are really designed to be held. They're sort of blocking sort of slightly bent pieces of wood and stuff that you might be able to get something out of. Luchka clearly does prefer that static style. Pretty awful foothold, so it must be a bad handhold. Currently it's not working for us. You might be wise to switch it up and start trying the, the swing and jump. Yeah, I did have a touch on that, that little jib that she was holding with the right hand. It is, it's quite small, it's definitely not in cut. Now Elias making that step over to the zone. Nice and solid. Now he is eyeing up this last movement. It's a completely static stand up on that zone hold. Required. Let's go back in. The mix, interestingly, really hasn't tried the big swing and jump that much, fully committing to this sort of snail across the bottom of these volumes. Can she make it work this time? It's kind of now or never, really. Almost over-rocking over that left foot. Looks like she might be making it work. Does make it work. Used a lot of time in the process, but one more dynamic move to finish. What can she find? It's supposed to be a dynamic move anyway. Oh, just maybe rush that top section. Used a lot of time, Luchka. Oh, and Elias Kruger doesn't get it done either. Both climbers pretty much off the last hold. Some interesting action there, Mike. Lots of different methods. Luchka opting for the low, I don't know, the low, the low road, the low, taking the, the low road, the yeah. snail method. <laughs> Definitely a slow way to approach that boulder. A lot of route setters out there, commercial, professional, competition route setters will be watching that, thinking, oh God, they've, they've been there themselves. It's so hard to make these things work. So much time and effort goes into trying to force climbers to do one thing, but Competition climbers at this level generally try absolutely anything to avoid a low percentage move. Well, got the two young Spanish climbers back out on the mat. Guillermo going a much slower into that first move rather than running and jumping into the press. Pretty hard way to start the boulder. Try and get those hips as close to the wall as possible to get up and over the mantle. Desperately try not to stand on your own fingers. Nice, putting the heel on, moving the hand, Interesting flicking going, it to the toe. Going left foot first rather than right foot. Root set has told me if anyone matches feet on there, they are ice cold apparently. Super oh. casual, <laughs> just standing around on that stuff like it's ledges. 
Yeah, that's quite hard to stand on top of that one with the right foot, I think. You've got left-hand side of the foot with a bit of texture in the right-hand side on the no texture. Easier. Let's see, she looks like she's preferring that sort of swing and press. I think that's the case of trying to get the right speed on that move to get you enough speed to get you across, but then you want to be pausing the end of the swing to take that jib with the right hand. Too much momentum and you just keep going. Hard move to stop on. Mm, that's much closer. Yeah, a little bit slower. Trying to keep that trailing right leg close to the wall, stop the rotation. Guillermo really struggling in that first move. As, as he does stick the swing across. Much quicker method than we saw from Lutschka. On the last move then. The jump into the palm down for the left hand on top of the slippery volume. Right hand catch the finish hold. In theory, right foot stops you out onto the right just above the start hold. This is a brutal press <laughs> this way. <laughs> oh no. Using so many beans just to try and get into the start position. Maybe a little bit of inexperience showing here from the 18 year old. I think it's quite hard to get a run up on that slab. There's not that much distance between the edge of the mat and the, the wall. So you've only got a couple of steps to get some momentum. Yeah, you need to ask the crowd just to step back for a minute. <laughs> I'm coming in. Coming through. <laughs> Both climbers back on, making progress this time. Different here from Martinez. Opting for the high feet. Here's the slippery side of that volume. Real risky method. Has potentially lost a bit of finger finger skin in the process looked immediately looked down at hand that might be the left hand that was taped she's looking at the clock it looks like she is going to give it another go it's a very quick boulder if you do it in a dynamic way still time 20 seconds hopefully you won't rush it that was better so smooth Getting the venga from the crowd. Trying that high foot method. Let's go. Five seconds. Stuck Ooh. it. Two hands. Two seconds left on the clock. What a fantastic finish. She's ecstatic with that one. Amazing. The buzzer beater from Izia Martinez. Totally different method to what was expected. Right foot slammed on top of that slippery volume. Caught it with two seconds to go. Look at the left hand. That sort of juggy Gaston looks horrific. Puts the pressure on now as we move to the next four athletes on these second boulders. Ayala Karem is back. Mikel Mauem will be back. Let's see what he can make of the slab. Previous athlete, Guillermo Pinado. I think you'd never want to see that slab ever again, to be honest. He's <laughs> not having a good time out there. Mikel, first underway. Stepping up onto that start hold there quite steadily. Black tape above him is marking out of bounds for the wooden beam in the roof. He has no handholds as he steps onto this first volume. Loses, loses the left foot a little bit, trying to make the foot swap there. Yeah, heading out for that jib. See what he's learned from that method. Obviously, we know, having seen some great efforts from Elias earlier. It might be better to potentially step through with the right foot. But the matched feet does look like it could work as well.
really awkward start. Seems to be a bit of a theme, that slab. The, aw <laughs> the awkward slab for the men's final. Let's see what he does this time with the feet. And he's going again with the left. Obviously thought he was quite close previously, making sure he doesn't use the little holes in the wall, the T-nut holes for his fingers, that's not allowed. Just trying to rotate the left foot around to make space for the right. Very risky foot swap. Wow, beautiful. Really nice. Lowering down onto that little jib, the white jib now with his left foot. In a position where he can take a moment, I think. Load it. Extreme walking this boulder. <sighs> See the head just nodded as he went for the foot swap there. Potentially just lost focus very slightly on the foot swap. Straight back in, 1.30 on the clock. Plenty of time for him to put this slab to bed. It's quite a slow boulder though, that's why he's not really rested between attempts. Oof. Just a lot of rubber there. Yeah. New pair of shoes. Yeah, he wants to give that a brush. There he goes. Is Ayala getting on on this swing and jump. Trying to sort of pause halfway through that move. Hold your breath as you go for the foot swap. Oh, he's held it. It's done the foot swap. That's brilliant. Now he needs to lower down so slowly onto this little jib. Finds it. It's two extremes. You want a soft shoe for one triangle and then a stiff one for that jib. Just indicating to the judges that he has secured the zone there. Very footwork in and the Boulder foot swap again. Have to go down and touch the zone to see, get that point. It's close here for oh. Oh. Maybe it was the time pressure. Nothing for Ayala Karem. Some great Nothing footwork in the end on that last attempt from Mikhail. That was really good to watch heart in your mouth moments really as many times as now in foot swap there sadly couldn't really find anything there for Ayala Karem didn't really get on with that move at all and from one Frenchman to another Frenchman Arthur Labrie there he is in the women's trying something different straight away has got that second place at the Boulder World Championships in 2021 amongst many other great results at the IFSC four times Italian champions so got plenty of pedigree Maroni also didn't really like the look of the swing and jump. Let's have another look now. Looks like they're not quite uh, reading that swing and jump at the moment. We obviously saw from Mizia that you can pounce all the way across into the final position, the zone hold all the way over to the left. Maybe it's that chalk that we mentioned earlier from Luchka Rakovic has put onto that little screw that might be confusing them slightly. Yeah, there was no chalk on that in, in observation. And when we looked at the boulder. 
I'm starting to wonder if it is possible to stop. But with such a little amount of time, just four minutes, you have to make quick decisions, commit to something. At what point do you start trying something else? Artur eventually standing up on this slab. Going through the step through, the quick sort of stamp. Oh, he landed it nicely. Strength in your zone. big toe to be able to hold that position. He looks really confident on the step throughs here, Artur Lebrun. Oh no, the wobbler. Looks like he didn't quite get fully flat on the slab with his chest. Left arm came out a little bit. And it just carried on taking him off the boulder. Camilla back on. That's a little bit better. Just goes for the sort of lander. The, the low land. Method number three go. on that jump. I actually quite like it when there's different methods emerges on a boulder. Not everyone does it in the same way. Shows different athletes, different abilities. This is the right foot method that we've seen. High risk. Looks like she's going to try and do it statically. Camilla Moroni, one hand on the finish. Yes. Makes it work. That looks like a better method. Great top there from Camilla. Arthur Lebrie looks really confident on the slabs at the moment, it has to be said. Trying something slightly different this time, rather than the uh, step through. Previously step through to that volume with his right foot. Going to go for the foot match this time, a bit more control. Such composure, let's go. Oh, an absolute display. A slab climbing technique from Arthur Lebrun. 21 years old, such composure in front of that crowd. Yeah, super impressive. I, I did doubt it for a minute when he was swapping feet on that textured volume. But he just made it look easy in the end. Camilla, solid to the top of women's two. If in doubt, Great power work. it out. Here we go again on the replay. Really easy on that step up. Really nice. Just cheeks just touching the wall. Keep as close to the wall as possible. An ultimate pair out on next on the second boulder then. Jesse Pills and Philip Schenk. Isolation zone is just behind the big screen you can see to the right hand side of the guys there. They're going to know that things have been topped just by the reactions from the crowd outside. You can see historically would prefer to generally have a look at some static methods but uh, times have changed a lot since Jesse was uh, competing. Obviously has had to adapt to the dynamic style. He's got really good at it. Philip a bit unsure as to which foot to go with first. Chosen that left foot first. This is the hard swap. Couldn't quite land it. Just searching around. It just looks like there could be multiple different methods now. With chalk all over that lower volume, all over the footholds. Philip looking to back up his impressive send of boulder number one. Going for that quick two step. Mm. Hard to land. Doesn't seem to quite hit the jib with the toe either on the left foot. So 
Jessica Pilt's back on for another go. Seemingly actually a bit closer with the full dynamic method. Good, good a camera angle to see how bad that first triangle on the black volume is and what a bad angle it is at. Yes, easily in the end for Jessie Pills. Really got the tra trajectory of the legs facing where she wanted to go. Direction of travel was perfect that time. Let's see what she makes of this top move. Seemingly not immediately obvious when you get up there. Will she go for the big cross through method? Or the high right foot? Having a look. That's what the root setters were wanting. That's how it read to me. Obviously, we've seen it's not necessarily the most intuitive method when you actually start pushing through that right foot, high right foot. It's the last minute for both climbers. Yes, he's got that first move dialed now. So it's move quickly through that. Different method potentially here from Jesse. She was not happy with the previous method, felt nowhere near it. Is she going to try? It's going to have to happen now. Goes for the left hand cross through, palm down. Philip, meanwhile, stomp. managed to land it and hold it. Gonna have to move fast now on a very so slow slab. Oof. Good foot swap. He needs to move. Three seconds on the clock. Nothing for Philip Schenk. Not quite sure what's happened with Jesse. We missed that, sadly. We couldn't quite see what happened, but it sounded like she was close listening to what the crowd was reacting to. Maybe we can get a replay of Jesse on that last attempt. There we go. Looks like she did go for the match on the left hand, like we've seen successfully on the other shake of the head, probably. <laughs> think, How did I try that before? <laughs> Must have been really close on time there from Jesse. Thanks to the team here for grabbing that replay. Since the final athlete. Final athletes out on the second bowler is Natalia Grossman. And Zan Sudar right in front of us there. quickly Natalia learns this movement two goes a bit closer it's quite a lot of similar footwear choice here for the guys on this slab at the moment super softs super, super softs yeah really pushing the heels down and the rubber really do the work really need to get some major contact on these Slopey volumes. Sounds like I'm moving quite confidently at the moment. Really little hesitation on these terrible foot swaps. Interesting if you can make that work, that would be some serious leg power. Ooh, maybe just rush the stand, stand up. Natalia with the high foot now chalking up, doing the match. Big move for her to the top. Solid with one hand. Two hands. Big real, smile. Real nice from Natalia Grossman. That sort of awkward match that they're now doing to top that one. Does end bowler number two. Lots of different methods in the end on that one. Couple of interesting storylines.
according to our scores at the moment, Jesse Pills hasn't been given the top on boulder number two, so that may have been out of time. We knew it was going to be close, but didn't see it live. Zan back on. He's got plenty of time on the clock to do this. He's come pretty close already. Really see how bad even that first hole is, how slopey it is. That first hold, cross leftwards, triangle, triangle, jib. That's great, this. You just don't need to watch the climbing, you just need to watch the feet on this ball oh, Come go, on. Goes fast. <laughs> Heartbreaker at the top. Opted not to foot swap on that zone triangle. Went for the quick stand up to finish, and it's Sort of a sloping left hand, one handed screw on at the top, cannot go quick to that. Yeah, just to go back to that, Jesse Pills not given the top. Shake of the head must have been because it was out of time. You see how Martinez and Natalia Grossman, the only two with two tops at the moment in the women's category. And he's back on now, 34 seconds on the clock. Having looked so confident on this, he's starting to fail. He's going to have to move fast here. He has touched the last hole. This would be very infuriating if he can't finish it off. Clearly powering out in the shoulders a little bit on this mantle press. It's going to be really short on time now. It's not going to happen, most likely. Everything, wheels are falling off everywhere here for Zan Sudar. Will spinning all of a sudden on the first volume. Oh, it's going to be infuriating. Yeah, I think he'll be a little bit angry with himself on that boulder. He really. So, women move down to the far left hand side, a very different style. They move on to the slab where the guys move on to the steep stuff. Expecting quite a showy boulder here for the men. Would have looked like have gone for the rebound off the wall for the first attempt there. A bit of a slam. Seemingly laughed it off and has another go. This is this sort of Superman press and blind jump here now from Elias. Blind jump out to the... Blind inaccurate as well. That's yeah, it's quite like a small hold in between those two jibs. Yeah, it's almost a pocket feature created in the end. It's definitely blind because you can hear he's jumping. It's just going to do that basically. Find <laughs> something that it lines up with. Now he's trying. Now he's stepped in there. And he's, yeah, trying to get it lined up. And to see it from the perspective he will be in underneath the roof. And then locate the hold. Completely blind. Let's see how accurate he is this time. A little better. Seemed to hit it quite well. Maybe not quite in. First look at women's number three then. Luch Karakovic currently down in sixth position. Another really technical bit of slab climbing. Lots of body position, a lot of work on the toes. To transition off to the right-hand side. That's the move the root setters are looking for, the catch to the zone with the left toe. Nice from Elias. What's he trying here? Just gone full Hollywood all of a sudden. That will do. It's not what they had in mind, but it works. <laughs> Only 50% of the way through the boulder, really, though, a long way to go. Not just a long way to go along the boulder, a long way to go up to that next hold. Upside down volume with a little jib screwed on the no tech side. going to have taken some energy out of his tanks as that 
120 on the clock. Not a great amount of time for both athletes to rest now. Luch cannot secure the zone just yet. Been quite close, as we saw in a previous attempt. This is the jump that we just missed. So ends up catching it pretty smoothly in the middle in the end. And here we go again. Elias lines it up into that slam dunk quite easily that time. Fast on the switch. Into the two-finger undercut. So much quicker through at that time, but it's got to be with only 36 seconds on the clock. Miles, absolutely miles and gassed out. <laughs> I feel like the qualities yesterday's semis is starting to take effect, so it gives an opportunity to focus on Luchka. Can she secure the zone? Body just rotates away from the wall as she pings across to that scrum. It's like this pointing final so far, unfortunately, for Luchka Rakovic. Volunteers are in straight away, brushing those holds, ready for the next pair. Really exciting to see Isia Martinez. Back on the mats. Totally stomping the second boulder. Currently setting in second position just behind Natalia Grossman due to attempts to tops. Great work from the young Spanish athlete. Showing great composure, just 18 years old, in front of this big crowd. Such a good close-up view of what this bowler number three really has in store. Sort of tensiony slab work with a risk move going over to the right-hand side. Another lean across and toe catch. Hits the toe, hits the zone really well there. Amazing first attempt this. So you're climbing really well, great composure on this boulder. Switches around the arete. It's looking great from the IFSC Youth Champion from 2023. Looks like she needs to find the right place for that right foot in order to get the left round the corner. She has done. Oh, and that pinch. Free. Stand up. Not an easy finish though. More powerful leg work. Let's go with you. Come on. One hand on the finishing hold, oh. two hands top. That is an amazing flash. Great work from the 18-year-old, showing proper class. Youngest athlete in this finals by at least four years. Three tops already, piling on the pressure on Natalia Grossman. Looks so controlled all the way through that boulder. Zero hesitation on that top section. All well, eyes on the one athlete on the mat. Guillermo Panada. Also young. Spanish sending a really good squad of young climbers through to this one, trying different method altogether, essentially just launching himself into the floor there. That yeah, we've, we've not seen him on this boulder yet, and so don't know whether he's tried the facing out method. 
struggled on the route reading a little bit of the previous boulder as well. Observation's always so interesting. Missed it at the time, but maybe there could be a language barrier. Other athletes might know each other a little bit better. A little bit of advantage discussing things as a unit. Luck's ticking down. Looks like he's going to stick with that face-in method. He's going for sort of this mad flying Gaston with his left hand. Yeah, the backhand undercut. That would be a new move. Look how intense it is out there. Front rows are basically knees on the edge of the mat, packing yes. everybody in. I think, yeah, he's just showing his youth a bit there. Not really trying to change the method all a bit lost there from Guillermo I think when he stand sees up with no hands there that's really impressive using that left toe drag never really looked in doubt on this point here just sort of clawing away at that right section of screw-ons tidy work Mikhail Mikel Mauer out next then. Mikel down in fifth place at the moment with one top. Mikel Mauer also down in fifth. Got to start bringing some tops. <laughs> he wants to get on with it. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's go. Hasn't really been able to get his teeth into any boulders yet, Mikel Mauer. Stuck into it, pull hard. This is the opportunity here. Ooh la la, he'll be thinking that. Hurt my back a little bit. Wiggling his right shoulder. Really fierce, push into that. Didn't like it at all. Yeah, he didn't want to go with the... Got to be a little bit careful pre-season. You don't want to wreck yourself for the upcoming events. Uh, Karim nicely through that starting position. I mean, obviously, these athletes are pretty tired as well by this stage. Big tour yesterday, semi-final this morning. Being a bit taller, it looks like he's really f hitting that right hand palm full force. Quite uncomfortable through the wrist, through the palm, and obviously in the shoulder and back. Over on the left-hand side now, Ayala starting to make some progress. Now um, eyeballs it. Eyeballs it, then missed it by a country mile. Completely blind that jump around the roof. Still loads of time. Well, sometimes the magic can happen in those last few seconds. Mikhail really needs to pull something out of the bag here. Oh, that's a little bit closer. Interestingly, being quite a bit taller there, Mikhail Mauer, when he jumps, he's really got to hoik his legs up a little bit so they don't scrape across the mat. Yeah, it's quite close to the, uh, to the ground there. Let's have a look this time. Very frustrating move. Mikhail Karem just keeps hitting the zone but rotating out as the toe hook drops in. It's really sloping side pull at the zone hold. Izzy Martinez made it look pretty positive to be honest with you. Yeah, she did it quite easy that move. Doesn't mean it is though. Ayala's back on again. Needs to catch that toe. Oh, that's a little bit better. This is letting all her body go to the right and, and it's just carrying her off. He's really not got his bearings on where that hold is over the lip that you can't see. He was a mile away from hitting it then. 
Both athletes really struggling with these boulders at the moment. That's more like it. The crowd goes wild to that. Got a hustle here now. Oh, oh saves it. Oh, look at that. Two fingers on that volume. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, by Ola Karen. Snuck up on us with the top. What an amazing top there for Ayala. Where did that come from? Match, I think, with three seconds left. So many buzzer beaters on this round so far. First top Crucial for her top. On third boulder. Here we go with the replay. We didn't quite see this move on the zone. Great work. Magic. Keeps herself in the game. Pushes herself into a medal position there. Ayala Karem with one boulder still to go for her. Well, they've done that, Matt, with the clock next to us saying two seconds. This is going to be interesting. Arthur Lebris already with two tops. Find something here, and this could be all over. And of course, Camilla Moroni looking to go big here. Currently down in fifth position with one top in seven attempts and just two zones. But currently two tops gets you on the podium. on an absolute fly here at Studio Block. It's pretty close to hitting the hold then. Like we said before, it's completely blind, but hey, yeah, he was over the top of it. Really good positive start from Maroney. We know this is really the move though, the move of the boulder. Left toe doesn't quite find the under underside of that volume where it needs to be. Sometimes those toe hooks just take a number of goes just to feel where the where the toe should be hooking. A couple of surprises not making this final in the men's competition. Roots hitters were quite nervous that this men's number three was too hard. Kind of set it for a slightly different calibre of athlete. But opted to pretty much leave it as it was. Real quick turnaround between semi-finals and finals here at the Studio Blockmasters. Really eyeballing that toe hook. Really has to try and line it up with something. Much better. A little look down. Gave her a little help, I think, to finding it. Press with that right arm to release the toe hook now. Looking for a slightly different method here. A high stand up, that's really nice. Potentially pushing herself into third here, depending on the number of attempts it's taken. Can she finish this one off? Yeah, really nice technique. Great experience shown there from Camilla Moroni. Yeah, that was really well climbed. Thinking all the way through the boulder. Making the right decision. Yeah, right decisions at the right time. Have an attempt, think about what wrong went what went wrong, make the required adjustments. Arthur opting for the facing in method. Oh. And it works for him. This could be huge now for 
Artur Abri finishes this one off. He finishes the comp off. One minute to find something in this top section. Nobody has really secured anything past the zone. This guy is really on fire here at Studio Block Master Zone. It's really awkward sort of drag of the two fingers of the right hand looks horrific. Just sort of snap it out of the letterbox as well. It just looks grim. Yeah, and it's, it, it is a big move as well up to that next hold. It looks that letterbox he's got his fingers in is pretty sloping. As soon as you start to generate up, you're going to lose friction on that bottom hold. It's going to have to be fast on this. He's got 16 seconds on the clock. Can't get the jump again. Needs to walk away from that. Save it for the last bowler because he's really in the hunt here. Mathieu Labrie. Let's just say that bowler looks ridiculous. Really, really pulling there on the right heel, pushing with the left foot. Great slab composure from Camilla Moroni. Nicely done. Yeah, really nice bowl of that. I think that positions that you had to find to make it work, you couldn't just go with power. You had to find the right body position. The right foot, the left foot in the right places, compression. Hold that press and get the top. Really nice climb in there. Two more rotations still to come on the third bowler, then Philip Schenk, Jesse Pills out next. Philip Schenk currently down in fourth position. One top in three attempts, two zones in five attempts. And Jesse Pills down in fifth, but both categories are still really wide open. In the women's though, it is a chase to catch up with Vizia Martinez, the young Spanish athlete with three tops already in three boulders. Jesse just being held here. That might be the good old fashioned comp wall clock meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened before about my <laughs> no, I've never seen a clock no. break at a World Cup. It's always amazing how complicated climbing can be, and it's the clock that stops things, but it does get going. It can be a bit tricky standing face to face with so many people for Jesse and Philip. like to say that I'm expecting Jessica to get a top on this and that was the curse that yeah. one move into that toe hook it's quite hard to find the left hand side of the volume sort of cuts away she was really close to hitting it well very quickly back on for Jessica and off again that's better Seemingly have no issues getting through this initial section, so she won't be too concerned at this stage about this toe catch, I don't think. Probably knows that the root setters have put on quite a low percentage, high risk move. That's nice. much better, left, caught it then. Left toe doing a lot of the work to hold that move together. Philip has worked his way through the underside of that roof section, but nobody getting really anywhere on this second half of the boulder at the moment. Let's see what Philip Schenk can make of it. As Jesse Pills looking really in control at the moment, opting to stay on that left-hand side. This is good from Jesse, keeping herself in the hunt here. 
can she finish it off? It's not totally over with the feet. Ah, oh, yes. Superb, as always, from Jesse Pills. That was interesting from Philip as well. He actually went over the top of that screw on. It's like a really bad sloping screw on crimp. You're obviously moving super fast with high feet to hit it as well. Taking a moment to chalk up and eyeball the sequence again. Breathing quite heavily there. Took a bit of effort that attempt. He's only got one minute on the clock now, but he does have to pull on. Otherwise, he's not going to have enough time to climb the boulder. Into the press. It's currently in second place here, but Arthur Lavery is above him with two tops already. Would be pretty big time if he manages to get a top here. Must be pretty special to do this in 30 seconds though. Philip Schenk calls it a day. Makes his way back into isolation with time still on his clock, but not enough time to climb a boulder of that style and that level of difficulty. Never really looked that much doubt this boulder for Jesse Pearl. She looked confident as soon as she pulled onto it, really. Just had to keep things together with the footwork. Jesse Pills looking like the full package of skills going into the IFSC season. Final rotation on this third boulder then. Zan Zudar sit, sitting in fourth place at the moment. But a low scoring round. It's possible to shoot up the leaderboard. Quick top will put him into a provisional first. Natalia Grossman. Yeah, this could be a big... Big change for the men's field. Maybe we can pull it out of the bag. Natalia actually in fourth at the moment. Is the final person to try this third boulder. Be a big surprise if she didn't do it, to be fair. Struggled on the slab a little bit in the first boulder of the semi final. Really technical slab. This one's a little bit different. Easy. Yeah, good technique there. Just a re little reach down just to check where the good spot of that volume is. Nailed it really oh, well. Uh, jumped into the high foot as well. Absolute display here from Natalia Grossman. Look at that left heel, how much flex there is through the ankle to push through, keep the heels down, friction through the shoes. A rapid top from Natalia Grossman. Super solid there. Really impressive skills. So quick. It's like Zan Sudar gets it sorted. It looks like he's heel hooking on top of his fingers at the moment. It's never going to be a nice place to be. Try and get those out of there. Oh, that looks grim. He's released the fingers, rolling over to get the zone now. Looks like he's got some beans in the bank for this. Did that release quite well? This is a move. We've not seen it done yet. Interesting, he's switching the left hand to the far right hand side of that crack feature. Getting himself in the best possible position. Well, that was close. Second time's a charm, maybe. Getting the fingers really deep into that lock. Oh. That, that. The jib on top of that volume looks absolutely diabolical. Looks so bad. And it's such a long way to get to it. Going to take a little bit of time now, I'm sure, after that attempt. Takes a look at the clock at the left-hand side of Zan. Let it run down a little bit. Probably put in one last 
big attempt on this boulder. He was really thinking about that next move. He was quite interesting hand positions there on that sort of what to call it really. It's not really a crack, but it's sort of a capped ledge. Quite awkward. Fired up for that next screw on a couple of times. This is going to be it for Zan Sudar. The clock run right down. He's currently sitting in second position. Does he have enough time to finish this boulder off? Nobody. Progressing past the first half of the third boulder. He nails the jump. Completely blind jump that. Needs to move fast. 20 seconds on the clock now. He's into the zone. Everybody wants to see him to the top of this boulder. Remains unclimbed. 10 seconds. Not going to happen. Boulder was too hard this time. Close call for the root setters. A couple of guys just really tickling that next screw on but nobody really looking it was a really big move from that slot and nobody could get it some quite close calls final action then for Elias Aragada Kruger men's number four potentially new move territory and Luchka Rakovic from Slovenia see what she makes of this sort of crazy section on women's number four Will she go for the feet first, the campus through? Oh, what a move that is. Super exciting finish here. Hopefully at the Studio Block Masters, Roots has taken big risks to finish this one off, looking for a big show. Spectacular finish. Jump out right to jump back left. I've seen it work, but only on social media. Haven't seen it in a comp as far as I can remember. Especially not studio block masters. Especially not into a slot. <laughs> It'd be super looks, cool if it works. Looks pretty spicy going back left. Pulling on, jumping right. No doubt the Japanese team are doing that for breakfast, but we'll see how this lot get on with it. As this is a super cool move as well. Come on, let's go. The powerful cross under. Elias from Berlin still can put himself into a medal contention here with a top. Probably not going to be able to win this one with the number of attempts that he's using up. difficult <laughs> such a large yeah. amount of moves going on in one go there looks good as boulder doesn't look any easier to be honest absolutely savage finish here to the studio block masters camera man nearly took one in the grill there oh, the campus cross under is classic Luchka not quite managing to make her mark on this finals yet. Down in sixth position, zero tops. Just those two zones at the moment. Elias is getting closer and closer with this. Ooh. That was better. One minute left on the clock. Steps up again. Bit of a dry fire on that. Very, very close. Elias going all the way to the death. 30, 
five seconds in for Luchko with a big cross on the door. Oh, sticks it. Oh, no. What a move. Such power. The lock off strength there from Luchko was incredible. Looks like they're both going in for the final action for them at this studio block must. <laughs> He yes, thinks he's at the soft play at the moment, I think. <laughs> Bouncing around all over the place. Both kind of giving it their last attempt. Great show, though, from Luchka Rakovic. Elias Aragada Kruger. Elias making headway on that boulder, step by step, but there just wasn't enough time and there wasn't enough power in the arms to make it happen. Luchka walks off the mats with three zones here tonight. I think she'll be pretty happy just to get the season underway with her first finals. With such a stacked field. Back to Slovenian camp, as we heard in the pre-show. They've got their selection events still to come before the first World Cup's out in China. It's going to be super interesting now. Is Ian Martinez already three tops, really keeping the pressure on and going toe to toe with Natalia Grossman here tonight? Is he just slightly behind on the number of attempts required? 11 versus six when it comes to those three tops. Yeah, this is a really big moment for Izzy, the youngster, to really put a stamp on this final and take it. Take to it down Natalia. To exactly. Such different levels of experience between Natalia and Izio as well. Interesting, the root setters have tried really hard to make sure you can't match that. The women's division especially known for trying to find a match absolutely anywhere they possibly can. Solid with the right toe hook. The match didn't look pretty, but it's very functional. Ezio just really sort of climbs naturally, just flows. Looks like she's going to drop into a figure of four there for a second. How to unwind out of this now. Oh. Good foot above Good her head there. there like but three, three metres off the oh. map. Good fight. Back to the men. Is the armor flying across the wall? From that shot there, we can really see that first move is a jump to the right and then the one, two, three, all the way to the zone on the left under the beam. Is that the way it's going to go down? Super stern finals here tonight, that's for sure. Pushing these athletes pre-season to the absolute limit. With the Martinez, can she keep it together here? Currently in first position now with that fourth zone. A top would be massive. Try and match this one and end up in the same position as last time. Yes, is the answer to that. The piano match. Not really what the rotators were looking for, but might work. Some sort of weird foot lock between. Oh, she's held it. This could be incredible here. From the young Spanish athlete. Just 18 years old, the top holds good, the penultimate holds good. Here's the Martinez to pile on the pressure to Natalia Grossman. Four tops, what a round. Unknown to many before this competition got underway. Here's the Martinez, the youth world champion from Helsinki 2023, walks off the mat. Four tops.
in 13 attempts. We said it was going to be huge to top the fourth boulder. Piles under pressure on Natalia Grossman and does get it done. Yeah, what an amazing performance from the youngster there. She was super happy with that. Liermo calls it a day. Not his finals. Walks off the walks off the mat, checking his skin. It's probably all gone now. <laughs> He's looking where his tips used to be. <laughs> <laughs> They're behind you, mate, on the wall. What a battle this was. Absolutely brilliant. The boulder was really about the midsection. She found her own method. Took the root set as beta. Screwed it up into a ball, ignored it, and just came up with her own stuff on the fly. Big smile there. Ayala Karam then. Fifth place at the moment. Best she can really do now is a top here for third. Before the other athletes try and chase down those final podium positions. Mikhail now I'm currently in fifth place. Does this within three attempts. He could move up a place, but it's not been his night tonight, Mikhail Mauem. Not his night, but will this be his boulder? Not with a start like that. Ayala Karem looking for the, the big cross under campus. And for more of a swing rather than a high left foot that we saw from Luchka. Luchka is standing outside left foot on that starting big sloping sort of soapbox shaped hold. Guys just pinging about all over the show at the moment. Nobody looking like they're getting anywhere near that move. Sometimes these movements take quite a long time to unlock. The direction of force, body movement, the legs. This looks a little bit better. What's interesting about that is the right hand volume that they're jumping to is so bad that they immediately have to go into the next move as Ayala Karam is getting much closer that time. Now normally with a jump out, if there's a hold that you have to swing off, it's usually fairly positive that you can generate in the right direction with the right momentum, but there, Mikhail Mauem has very sloping hold, so he's immediately pinballing back to the left. See how bad that sloping volume is, it's found a bit more technical way of doing that first move, but it immediately bounces. That's close. Yeah, getting closer. In that one, two, three, heads your head back left. This time, come on, Io. And one of them's a slot. Oh, power. What a move. This was the way we saw them testing it at the last minute. Oh, just drops the foot out of the way to get oh. the hand. Ayala Karem looking to finish this competition off in absolute style and does. Superb all the way to the end. 22 years old. Backs up that 10th at the World Championship in Bern last year. With a great start to the 2024 season. Three tops for her. Shoots up into third position at the moment. Does put the pressure on Natalia and Jesse. And Camilla Moroni is coming down to the wire, this one. Mikhail Makant back on. Oh, he just... I think they might need to move that GoPro. GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> He's so close to that. He's absolute car crash on the mats there. Yeah, that'll be some good footage, that. Incoming! <laughs> Crowd absolutely on their feet here for Malwin. They want to see this move go down. GoPro stays where it is. Starting to get the measure. Come on, Michael. He looks 
cracked. Absolutely <laughs> cracked. <laughs> His goose is cooked. He's going again. <laughs> going in for another one. What a show from Mikhail Malham. Nothing left. Absolutely nothing but a great effort. Waves to the crowd. Crowd very appreciative of his efforts. Stays down in fifth position. Three climbers still to attempt the last bowlers. Arthur Labrie for France. Philip Schenk and Zan Sidar in the men's. Camilla Moroni, Jesse Pills and Natalia Grossman to finish this one out. Pretty good training all in all. Good weekend trying. Fantastically set boulders here and that's part of the reason these athletes really do come to the Studio Block Masters is to get sort of warmed up pre-season. Yeah, it isn't just about this semi-final and final, is it? It's all about the quality of the boulders. They're also climbing. The whole tour is uh, amazingly set. New volumes, new holds, new moves. Getting in front of the crowd again, yeah. piling on, on the pressure. For the last time then. This weekend, Camilla Moroni from Italy. After the Brie. Artur, it's his to win this competition. Two tops. Three zones. Only climber on two tops at the moment. Tops this. Again, he wins. It's a big ask, though. Yeah, Arthur sitting there in first place at the moment. Young climber. This might be the sort of thing that's up his street nowadays. Slightly different starting foot position there from Arthur. Looks like he's going left straight away here, trying something different. Chinned himself on that first attempt. <laughs> Oops. Camilla Moroni now ready to do this cross through. She's looking to put the feet out first. Nope. Oh, Solid what through there. What a move. Goes for the catch root set as a block the left hand side of that just to force you to go that little bit extra. What a move! Straight out of cliffhanger. <laughs> Movie levels of quality that move. Yeah, yeah, but real. No CGI here. Climbers taking a little bit of time. To run down the clock. We're only currently in fourth position with two tops. Ayala Karem, who we've just seen just above her with three tops. Top this quickly, could put herself in provisional third. Really see the fatigue starting to set in. Mathieu trying to completely ignore that right hand side of that move. Kind of fancies just going straight to the left hand move. Yeah, so it looks like he considers that thing on the right to be a foothold, not a handhold, regardless of the shark. Camilla back on. Cameras at the ready. Sort of a swing and a campus. Again, looking so cooked. Yeah, she looks tired now. Legs are going on that mat. It's been a long weekend already. Very, very long. Four hours of brutal qualifiers yesterday. For most people, that requires at least three or four days of rest. 
to rebuild the body, but these guys have got to go into a semi-final, then a final. I guess realistically she knows she's not going to win this one. Playing for pride a little bit here. Could squeak a bronze medal potentially. Getting close though on attempts now. Camilla back on the ball to the crowd really giving her some support. Total fade out now. She's totally done, but it's been amazing to watch. Camilla Moroni from Italy. After the brief finish of the fourth boulder, still in first place. It's going to be close. It's going to come down to attempts. Zan Sudar has the potential with this one, as does Philip Schenk. After the after the brief, two tops, three zones, two tops in six attempts, zones in eleven. Zan Sudar on one top, as is Philip Schenk, but low number of attempts. Nobody's securing anything on boulder number four at the moment, so a zone would be massive. Jessie Pills down in fifth place at the moment, two tops for her. Philip Schenk now out onto the mat as well. Jessie will be looking for that bronze medal potentially, assuming Natalia Grossman does well on this boulder. Possibly a safe assumption, but also a big assumption. It's a hard move through that midsection. What has Natalia got left? But for now, it's Jesse Pills to try and push for a podium place. Really digging that right hand in. You can see that isn't that great to hold with the right hand. She's really crimping hard on it. That was close. How on earth did Isia Martinez match that hold? Philip Schenk, the door is open for him to walk through here. But he doesn't look really awkward. to go for the high foot again not really looking rightwards at the moment it's just chalk everywhere over that huge starting feature now it's really hard to read what's what jesse back on drilling the fingers into that slot for the right hand that's much better Strength. Oh, Ooh. just went a bit too far. Yeah, over. A couple of fingers off the texture. Overgassed it there. Hit the blocker on top. That's what those holds are designed for. Blocking that feature so you can't just slap to it. You've got to maintain accuracy. Keep the lock. Yes. Phillips trying something entirely different here. You know what they say, guys? If in, if in doubt, face out. <laughs> <laughs> I think said no coach ever. <laughs> <laughs> Even doubt pull harder. <laughs> Doesn't work on this boulder because I don't think there's anything to pull on currently. That's grim. It's quite a long way to the first hold. Oh, the little run and hold. Actually though. hold. Did he actually touch that with his left hand starting position? Come on, Jesse. Jessica back on drilling that right hand into that quite small crimp. One move done. Yes. She hits it this time. What a border this is. Let's go, Jesse. For provisional second. Nicely done. 
It's a great show from Jesse Pills, absolute class, 2018 lead world champion. Looking to add more medals to her significant trophy cabinet. Well, it's amazing to see the depth of talent with somebody like Jessica who's been on the scene for what feels like years now, but still being able to compete on the bouldering scene at a really high level. But more oh! commonly known as a lead climber. That was so close this I think time. He's from on Philip. for the zone here, Philip. Crowd just lifts all of a sudden. They want it, they want it to go down. 15 seconds. Foot slip. Got one more attempt, I think. Could put himself in second with a zone. It's oh. gonna go in with five seconds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give this guy another couple of seconds and he would have done that move. This great effort from Philip Schenk. Big smiles on his face. He's pretty happy with that, I think. He's going to stay in third. Zan Sudar now. The final climber out is the only one who can top Artur Labrie. A top would obviously give him two tops, but four zones. As Natalia Grossman will be out last. Natal uh, Jessica Pills with that top puts herself into the silver medal position. Guaranteed a medal now, Jesse. Another medal. Natalia Grossman needs to top this in less than seven attempts. Put my money on a flash. Had any money, we'd put it on a flash anyway. <laughs> Final two climbers on the mat, then. This is the closing moments of Studio Blockmasters 2024. Are we going to go out with a bang? Natalia quickly into action. Looking oh. super strong through that first move. Ooh. And again, the second one latches it. Close though. A little bit baggy on that hole, but gets it together in this last section. Natalia Grossman, a different class so far here this weekend. Rocks it out somehow off a high left hill. Natalia Grossman, first time at Studio Blockmasters. First win at Studio Blockmasters with the flash. Absolute talent, absolute class. You could see, watching her facial expression, she was having to dig deep on that last and final boulder, but it was still within her range. And a fantastic top there. Completion for Natalia Grossman's and final. Sets up on the podium. FSC season for another round of Natalia versus Yanya, which we're really looking forward to seeing in the Olympic year. Natalia already qualified for the Olympics, won the Pan American qualifying event. She goes through to Paris in August. Which is looking really tantalizing already. No doubt we'll be competing across the mats at the IFSC at the World Cup's lead and boulder as well, Natalia. Four tops, perfect round, really, for her. As it is Zan Sudar. Oh, he's paused a little bit. This is good from Zan. Manages to slow that section down. This is massive. Mm. Such a hard move, back left, one, two, three, and number two is a slot as well. It's really hard to paddle through that. Needs to top this to catch up with Artur Libri. Artur has been in 
first place from the second boulder. Only zones secured by anybody on the third boulder and nothing. Blank score sheet currently on the fourth boulder for everybody. Last climb around. One minute of this competition left. Got good composure over on the right, but the next move still looks brutally hard on its own. To be honest, I think this boulder could start up on the right and it'd still be hard enough. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Thirty seconds. Time to produce some magic here from Sandy just sort of slips into that first move. 20 seconds. Now or never. Went straight to the slot, to fair, hoping to get to the zone. Root setters have got this one really close. It's unfortunate for them it hasn't got done so far. Maybe in the, <laughs> some magic in the next couple of seconds. He'll be out of time, but maybe he'll have a go at the move anyway. Not happening, nothing on that boulder for any of the six male finalists actually so close it's easy to sit here and say well oh, that boulder is just too hard Thank you. 
on the sixth place for our Slovenian team, Lutska Rakovic. Master 2024, and it's a pleasure for me because on the second place from España, Isia Martinez. <laughs> Thank you. 